Welcome back to Swim Swim's top five swims of the 2020 Olympic Games. Tonight, we are wrapping things up with the top five swims of the meet on the women's side and the top five swims in the meet on the men's side. Let's get into it. Coming in for the women at number five was the women's 100 breaststroke. Lily King coming in as the 2016 defending champ goes out strong along with South Africa's Tatiana Schoenmacher, but 17-year-old Lydia Jacoby comes back on the field with a massive second 50, touching first at 104.95 to win gold. Number four, women's 100 fly was as close of a race as you can get with the top four, just 14 one hundredths of a second within one another. Zhang Yifei of China and Tori Husk were out fast, but the field closed quickly with defending world champion Maggie McNeil getting her hand on the wall first in an America's record of 55-59. Number three, women's 100 backstroke. Coming into the meet, this race was billed as one of the biggest battles of the Titans that we would see in Tokyo, and it delivered. Former world record holder Reagan Smith and defending world champion Kylie Moss went out fast, but Kaylee McEwen, the newly minted world record, did what she did best, coming back in the second 50, two touch first in an Olympic record of 57-48. Number two, the women's 200 breaststroke. After a stellar 100, Tatiana Schoenmacher was back to business in the 200 breaststroke. She breezed through prelims and semis looking at dominant, and in the final, she swam a strong race, putting her head down those last 30 meters to break the world record of 218.95. Lily King, coming off of her bronze performance in the 100, went out like a shot and held on to get under 220 for the first time. Any laser touched for bronze, but perhaps the most memorable moment of this race was the aftermath, seeing the two Americans and the two South Africans all embrace and congratulate one another in an amazing display of sportsmanship. And the women's race of the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games, women's 400 freestyle. We knew Katie Ledecky and Ariane Titmus were going head to head in three rounds, the two, four, and 800 freestyle. And many thought that 400 would be the middle ground where they would be as close as they could be. It delivered. Day two of the meet, 400 free final, Katie Ledecky goes out strong, leading over Ariane for the first 300 meters. But Ariane begins to build some momentum into the 350. She flips and turns on the legs, passing Ledecky over the last 50 to touch at 356.69, an oceanic record and second fastest performance all time. Ledecky swims her second fastest time of all time, 357.36 to touch for silver. And Li Bingji Ji gets in on the action at 401.08 for bronze and an Asian record. Those are your top five swims of the 2020 Olympic Games on the women's side. Let's head over to the men. Coming in at number five, men's 200 IM. Michael Andrew was out fast that first 150 meters, but not quite fast enough as the field closed on him in freestyle. With the race coming down to Wong Shun versus Duncan Scott in the last 15 meters, Shun got his hand on the wall in 155.00, becoming the number three performer all time, while Scott settled for silver and a new British record. Number four, men's 800 freestyle. It was a true battle of the greats in this event. We saw Greg Paltrinieri take it out like a rocket, while distance ace Michaela Romanchuk slowly crept up on him. Bobby Fink was lurking in fifth for majority of the race, flipped fifth at the 750, but then turned on the Jets, splitting 26-3 to pass four competitors on the way home and touch for gold in a new American record of 741.87. Number three, men's 100 fly. We thought this was gonna be essentially a shoe in for Caleb Dressel, but Christoph Milak had other plans. Dressel was out fast, but Milak came home charging in what was a very Phelpsian performance for him, almost nearly getting the best of Dressel, but touching for second at 49.62, Dressel gets the gold medal and the world record in 49. 45. Number two, to start the meet off, it was the men's 400 freestyle. There was not a clear favorite in this meet, although we thought the Australians might have a strong showing. Jack McLaughlin, Kieran Smith, 
but it was Tunisia's 18-year-old Ahmed Hafnawi in lane eight who took it out strong and held on. Even when McLaughlin and Smith were closing on him the last 100 meters, Hafnawi was able to maintain his lead to touch for first in 3.43.36. A huge surprise to the 18-year-old and to the rest of the world. And the swim of the meet for the men's side, gotta give it to the men's 100 freestyle. We knew coming in, it was going to be Caleb Dressel going out, Kyle Chalmers coming home, and maybe a wild card in there, and we got just that. Dressel was out fast with European record holder Clement Kolesnikov right with him, and then Chalmers made his move eating ground on Dressel in the last 15 meters and nearly touching first, but it was Dressel to hold on for the win at 47.02, Chalmers 47.08. Relay performance of the meet for the women, it was the 800 free relay. We saw Australia coming in as the undoubted favorites. They looked untouchable. However, Ariane Titmus leads off in 154.5, a second off of what she had won the individual 200 free in and gave China just enough room to believe. After that, Australia and China were duking it out the whole way down the stretch. Meanwhile, USA had been led off by Allison Schmidt and we were hanging on to a solid third place. Enter the anchor leg. Katie Ledecky splits 153.7 to put US ahead of Australia and nearly run China down. However, it is China that holds on to touch first in a world record 740.33. US touches second 740.73. Australia, while relegated to third, still manages 741.29. All three teams under the previous world record held by Australia. Relay performance of the meet on the men's side, 400 medley relay. We knew it was going to be a battle between US and Great Britain, and we saw just that. With Ryan Murphy coming out strong on backstroke, Petey splitting 56-5 for Great Britain on the breaststroke leg, putting them in a 0.6 lead, but Caleb Dressel fired right back with a 49-0 split, giving the US a 0.6 lead heading into the anchor leg. Zach Apple got the job done in 46-9, while Duncan Scott was 47-0. US hangs on for a world record, 326.78, while Great Britain gets silver and a European record 327.51. This has been Swim Swam's full coverage of the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games, but don't you go anywhere. Swim Swam still has interviews, articles, and tons of internet goodies coming your way, so stay tuned.